Okay, so we are back now. So we had some floor done in the house. We had a drifting car and a drifting project. And it's time to go back to this baby. So I have pistons, circlip, and the connecting rods, which are mainly. So what are we going to do now? We are going to assemble the connecting rods into the pistons and uh, install the rings in it. All right, so let's do it. So we have the rings here. I just put under here all of them. So we have the top rings, bottom rings, and the oil ring. Um, I have here the rod, so I have one, two, three, four, and the size and the weight that came from the factory like that. There's the part number, and it tells me the total total weight, big end, and pin end, um, when it was done, and all that stuff. I was surprised it was 2016. Um, if you never saw that, there's a, it's a normal box. It's kind of very thick, and there's this little box and there's a the thick plastic um, I put those circlips here because I lose stuff so it was a good way to just keep it safe so all of them are here and this is the manual which says manual There's some instructions that says uh, how many uh, foot pound you apply um, to set those parts properly and to, to torque it and that's it so here I have um, I just need to remember if this is cylinder one two I want to match those marks because I don't want them to um, see if I can right because all of them have some um, anyway so let's get started so just for the record I've never done it before and I just read a lot so, and watch some videos, some other people doing this, so let's see what I can do. So here we have the connecting rod, oh man I feel so excited right now, we have that, yeah. okay, we have some assembly lube, and we have the cylinder the pistons here so what we are going to do first is we're going to install this micro burger here as soon as I can open it oh wow good luck to me so this is like you put this in here and <laughs> good luck <laughs> oh, shit. so technically that's what we do we put the clip in here and then we squeeze enough and it should go in but man that is a squeeze let me see if I can get oh this is to open not to close so this is not gonna work okay so I guess I figured out a way this is very hard. I'm gonna push this and see if it works. It gotta be down here. Yep, it works. So let's try another one just to see if it wasn't luck. Uh, but at first, it looks like that it's not working. That's not gonna get in there. Let me get another one. I also went inside to check the size with the other ones because like no this can't be right but yeah this is correct all right so take that out of there just be sure 
there is not a piece of plastic plastic on yours so let me see if I can um, zoom in a little bit all right so what I did was I saved this part here I'm gonna do like this so because I want this close to this part not actually there and I'm using the walls to push it down so if you see it's down in the walls but it's not in the uh, hole yet so now you push a little bit so you got one side pushing the walls and then I need to put it down here you might need a screwdriver I think it, it helps a little bit it could help I don't know how did I do the other one this one is being hard I'm gonna get the uh, back of a screwdriver there you go just push it and that's it I mean I didn't this was like this already uh, so just remember I'm gonna put in just one side and that's the side where I have these the inscription here uh, maybe put some oil might help but I'm, I don't want to risk and get all slippery then it'll, it'll never gonna work so got another one two down the other one I did like this I was working it out and just going in there like magic there you go yep I think uh, screwdriver is a must you just need to be sure that it is there this is a kind of scratch I think uh, the guy I bought it from got a little trouble to take them out take him out out of there because he sewed the uh, the connecting rods to someone else so let's get fourth one oh this bag this is a double bag so you have bag inside a bag why is that takes more time to open a bag than put the thing there so the inscription is here okay again oh I think I figured that out so you gotta use this here I'm gonna do the next one to be sure I wasn't luck again let me take the zoom out um, so you gotta use this part here and this helps the ring to get in there so all right so let's go back to number one so that's how we put the circlip and so what I'm gonna do now I need to use some of this and come on just gonna put it like a around and I'm going to put this there first not this side idiot because that side is the side I have the clip and also I'm going to put some of it in here so I got a drop 
put in there. And this should be enough. <laughs> I just hope. all of it I just hope there's no side like the other side would be the side I should put it <laughs> that would be so funny okay so I put a little bit more of uh, assembly lube and it slides down. It takes a while. I think uh, it's about being cold or being hot. It's sliding very well. I can I can feel any restriction, but it was very tough to get in. I mean, I don't feel anything. It's very tight. Um, so you see here, I have like a lot of assembly lube. And so now, we need to do this here. So let's get um, this here lubed. So now let's get some of this assembly lube. Um, we can get some of these here because it might be easier to put in here. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is um, some pistons have the front side somewhere and um, this piston doesn't look like it has it it has the numbers here um, so what I'm going to do I'm going to point the mainly uh, to I'm gonna align with this thing here right so sorry this and that so I'll set them all the same way. So let's do it. Put some assembly lube. And well, this is very gluey. So finger here look at that and put in there oh wow this is happening look at that it looks awesome feels great in there uh, now I need to push this here as much as I can I'm going to take some of this out of my hand, clean this outside just a little bit, and let's do this. Let's see if uh, what I did last time worked. Let me see if I can uh, point this to you. See this here. Let me go more this way. Out there, people. Okay. okay. I don't need this box here either. All right. So see this little opening here. I'm gonna put the first one very close to the opening, and the second one ending in the opening. So when I do like this, it goes almost all the way down. I wanna get use the open. I'm gonna just set this up here and show you. I wanna do like this. So when I do that, oh yeah, it went almost all the way. <laughs> I have so much oil in my hands. Some people do that so easily and no idea how. There you go, I just pushed it and magically went inside. No screwdriver, no anything. I guess your zoom got screwed. So this is our first bad boy. And um, 
Let's see if it stands up like that. Oh no. Alright. So I'm gonna set this guy right here. Like that. No rings there yet. I don't want the assembly loop to run out of there. So it should be alright. All right, so let's go to the second one. So I'm gonna get the second rod right here. Box is there. So what I'm going to do here, get the side that does not have the pin. Um, as I push, I'm going to oops, put some more here because I want all this to be lubed very well. Oops, my bad. All right. I hope I'm, I'm on the camera. All right. Got it out. The little bag. If there's nothing there, this goes like this. So this is the side that I'm going to start with. And there we go. So I have it's it's going very very smooth, which makes me happy. All right. And let's get one more. Open it. So let's do this here. One thing that just happened to me. A piece of my glove got in there. You don't want that to happen at all. All right. So, so far we're looking fancy. so much to do that because the rings were not gapped and I didn't have the um, bearings for the crankshaft so I was just procrastinating Get in there. Assembly lube. Mm -hmm. All right. It's like you're eating pasta with cheese or something. Look at that. I guess no, my idea won't work. <laughs> I need some lube in here. I thought I could put some in there and. It will work itself in there, but no. So we need to put lube, twist a little bit, just to make it dirty, and then it should snap in there. It's not snap, slide. It's so slippery, I can't. My twisting is not twisting. A little more. 
more. So, oh, it went, it went. So you need to work it out like sideways and twisting a little bit, some of them. Um, I don't know, mine was used, but that might be the issue, but let me see if it's nothing in there. There you go. By the way, I'm just blowing the, uh, the oil grooves, which are those holes in here and in here, and they have connection inside. So you see inside there, just to be sure there's nothing there. Um, I've done on the, the two before, so that's why I didn't do it, but all right, so we push that, move, and push it in. And it's got this little thing. We use the little hole we have there. I don't know if you can see this little part in there. And then you push it. There you go. Push it. I'm gonna hit with the, there you go, with the bottom of the screwdriver, very lightly. I'm pretty sure this can handle a lot, but, all right. So we have three down, and the last one. Ooh. Last one is coming. Okay, so we have the thing there. Let's get some assembly lube. Let's clean this here. All right, some it's lubed. And so I got the paper because my hand is slippery. So I'm gonna twist and it has some movement sideways too. So if I twist and do that sideways movement, then of course we need to have assembly lube down here too. So oh wow. It's a domino effect. is up here and go on. Uh, like the other ones it out take in and out until I feel oh yeah that is kind of lubed yep I felt a click so it's tap inside some yeah there you go look at that it's right there now we are gonna open the last Connecting rod. Okay. 
One thing I should have done before is unscrew this guy and take this out of here uh, because it makes it lighter and I need to uh, do that anyway. And some of them I will need to tap with a rubber, I think it's called mallet, anyway, uh, hammer, rubber hammer, and go on. It's working fine. All right, it's getting cold in here in general, not right now. So I need to get this car running, as I promised. It was end of um, September, I said. So I'm gonna add more assembly lube here. Just felt it was a little dry. There you go. There you go. I'm gonna let the oil get in there. And let's get one more. Somehow I said a lot I lose the stuff. I bought those those uh, circlips in here so I wouldn't need to reuse the ones I took out of the there but I was too short so I'm pretty sure I lost it so they look pretty good I'm gonna get a couple the other one I used was from this pile here and this one is from the pile too so so again get right there push right down for some reason there way harder than the one that's I I got, I don't know why. Let me see if I can do it the back. No. Oh yeah. It's very and there you go. It's not quite there. There you go. Oh wow. It's like I'm professional. Been doing this forever. Just kidding. All right, so we have uh, four of them assembled. I hope this is not too boring. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to um, take those out so we can prepare for the, uh, I can't lose that. But I need to open a little space in here. So there you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the ARP studs. Yeah, it should be hand tight only. And so they get a little. lighter and you see so you see there is oil here it comes like that from the factory and it should not come out easily um, and what I've seen they tap it because what happens is you can't mix them because they have one piece and they cut it so this matches only this connecting rod and not that one right it might be very similar sometimes it might fit 100 percent perfect but this is 100 percent perfect always so let's get a there is inside here there is a little um, metal piece that goes in there and fit this a hundred percent so we need to tap here here, here, and then this will come out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the plastic that this thing came on. And I'm going to turn and I'm going to hit this just a little bit. And look at this. You don't want to, you don't want to be 
too aggressive because you don't want this to get any sort of damage. Your small damage might be huge in your engine. And um, yeah, so this is where we are going to put the uh, um, bearings. The uh, yep, the main bearings. So this is one, and we are going to do the same thing in all of them. And one thing you need to know before you disassemble, you see the sides, um, because I just took that apart, and then you're gonna think, oh man, the side, right? Because if it was cut like this, there's a correct side. And yes, there's a correct side. So you look here, you kinda can see a number. Let me see, can you see a little number here? Zero, whatever, 43, zero, 346, zero, 346. So number with a number, right? So if you take out of there, here there's no number. So no number, number, number. So you know how to assemble it back. Don't put uh, the way you think you should put because there's a right side and wrong side. So in here, I'm gonna, just for the sake of thread, I'm gonna say this is the number side and this is not the number side. Okay. And same thing. So by the way, I'm just putting the plastic back because this here might um, leave this white mark and I don't want the white mark there. So you want to heat from the bottom up and this should be enough. See? I'm going to try to use my hands now. Nope. Alright, so last night was too late and I end up um, I end up also putting the rings, but I'm going to put in a different video just in case. Otherwise, it's going to get too boring. You got to watch all of this, you know. So, um, I think it was like one o'clock and uh, I end up sleeping like five hours a night. So, um, I never done that. The only thing is this circ clip, you see that there's a little, um, I might put a picture right here. I don't even know which side I'm pointing to, but when I put on edit, I will see my finger and I'll put some square right in here. Uh, so that little hole, it helps the, the clip to get further. So when you push it between the walls, it kind of compresses a little bit and then you can push it to your finger. I just realized that on the last one I did. Uh, so I'm not sure when I'm gonna do that again. Probably soon on the BMW, but I'm not sure yet. So that's done Piston, uh, pistons and connecting rods are assembled and we are ready to put the rings just for the next video but I already put the rings um, and that's it so I hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoy hit the like button and subscribe if you don't enjoy just hit the like button please and uh, I'll see you in the next video